business at a bar? Not a wise proposition for most, but hey, some of the world's best ideas emerged over a few pegs. When businessman Rollin King used a barn napkin to draw a triangle that connected Dallas, Houston and San Antonio, it was at an American club in 1967. That drawing turned out to be the virtual blueprint of the world's largest low-cost carrier, Southwest Airlines. And how do you think the famous play A Few Good Men came about? Again on napkins at a bar in Broadway's Palace Theatre, where American writer-producer Aaron Sorkin was bartending. Yes, the same guy who wrote the Oscar-winning The Social Network. In Mumbai, you may scratch your head wondering if anything like that has ever happened. After all, it is a business hub and much of it is discussed in places like this. Inspired by the city's obsession with the Lal Street, there's a new concept bar in the city we visited not far from Mumbai's Banra Kurla complex. The bar stock exchange is an idea that owner Mihir Desai stumbled upon on one of his trips to New York. I landed up in a bar called Brew Exchange. It was a brewery, a microbrewery. So uh, they had a same concept but running a little differently. Since then I was trying to get somebody who would actually develop a software for me. So it took us nearly 8 to 10 months getting it right. What he got right is an app that lets you buy your favourite tipple at the bar at prices that keep fluctuating, just like in a stock market. So you enter the bar, download the app on your phone and place your order. This is the app. You can download it from, with your iPhone, you can download it from the iOS store. And this is how the category works. These are the categories placed on top. So example, you want to order uh, Scotch whiskey. So all the options on the menu will open up. And you can order from here. The quantity comes on. You can add, you can add mixers through the app. The table numbers are placed on the table. Correct. So you put your table number, just order. And the order comes in. Right. Yes, as simple as that. It's all demand and supply. If your drink is popular, chances are the price will rise. So you better book that second round up front. Today's low price, that's the base price, is the MRP in the market. And it, then it grows from there as the sale goes up. With every sale and purchase of uh, alcohol, the rate keeps on increasing. And if the particular product is not ordered for 45 minutes, the percentage, how it grows, how it's grown will come down very smart because the base price is the MRP and this is all a volume game so a retailer like Mihir gets hefty discounts on that MRP from manufacturers and distributors that way he never makes a loss on his sale I make money during the fluctuation of the market growing Correct. and if futures is your game check this Mihir will soon have a supplementary app that lets you book your drinks for future trips to one of his growing number of TBSEs in the city if you think the current price beats the average. We are planning to put a new brand called the Trade Exchange okay. where you'll be able to come and trade. You can book your product and uh, whatever profit you make from me will be credited to your uh, app, my TBSE account and you can spend it at any TBSE. So Mihir, how is the business going to grow from here? And how are you going to make this kind of concept work and sustain itself in the long term. Uh, we're opening Dubai, we're opening Singapore, we're opening Delhi, Pune, Bangalore and Mumbai has the maximum number, six. We're opening six outlets in Bombay.